just feel like, you know, in 2020, it's kind of crazy to still be talking about this gender pay gap and, you know, women who are doing the same job making less. And um, I just wonder if if it's because they're sort of being held back, especially if they're moms. Like, it's one thing to see a woman in a position of power, but a working mother in a position of power is pretty rare. Trying to maintain her position in the workforce and being a mother of two is a delicate balancing act for Sherry Sheffa. And she's not alone. Over 2.7 million Canadian women are mothers. And while many companies have equality in hiring practices, by the time you get to management and executive level positions, the shift is evident, with some stats showing 90% of senior level jobs held by men. I worry that you get stopped at the interview process. If the question does come up, if you have children, that that's seen as like a negative. It goes in sort of the con column rather than the pro column. Career interruption for raising a family also accounts for wage discrepancy. Known as the child penalty or motherhood penalty, it shows up to a 20% lower salary for women with children. 70% of women between 25 and 40 are working moms. Um, and over 30% of them leave the workforce for a period of time, making them fall behind professionally. So this doesn't only affect them, which is millions of people, but it also affects their families. Companies are changing, allowing for more work-life integration and accommodations for working moms, but not necessarily at higher levels. A new Canadian recruiting agency called The Mom Force claims to be a first of its kind in Canada and is focused on helping working moms connect with companies that have a strong gender diversity mission. It is very beneficial for, for companies to have women in companies in all decision-making levels and leadership levels. You know, so you have two um, in-person interviews scheduled for today. They partner with us because they trust that the companies that we work with will not just value their skill sets, but also help accommodate their lifestyle. And she says accommodating a mother in the workplace does not mean settling for less productivity. Even the ability to work from home a few days a week is really helpful. Having some form of flexible hours. So um, having that discussion with a company and saying, I can come in at 7.30 in the morning, but I have to leave by 4 o'clock because I get to pick my kids up from the bus. So there are so many different ways that companies have been and can continue to be and be more uh, accommodating to, to help moms balance everything. Close to 10,000 working moms have connected with Mom Force since it was founded just three months ago. Companies who have paired up with the recruiting service say they want to help bridge the motherhood gap. There's lots of talented women out there and we want to be seen as an employer of choice for them, so it's really a win-win. We are reviewing candidates both from MomForce as well as through our own recruitment initiatives to ensure that we have a diverse group of candidates because that's critical to our business. Experts say achieving that work-life balance between working moms and employers could mean an additional 1.3 million people in the workforce across the country. Audra Brown, City News.